everybody, it is Michelle and today I'm going to be talking about some essential items that you need in your college wardrobe. So I did actually just graduate from college. I graduated this past May from the University of Hawaii at Manoa and I did in fact dorm my first two years of college. So here are like 10 things that I always have to make sure that I had in my wardrobe. And today's shout out goes out to Azdvgjelica. <laughs> Thank you so much for always commenting on my videos and if you want a chance to be shouted out all you gotta do is make sure that you're subscribed and comment down below. Also make sure that you turn on my notifications and let us begin with the video. So I have a little list here on my handy dandy notebook. Um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is of course basics. You need some really good basics that are gonna last you for a long time because basics can just go with everything. So I have a bunch of my favorite basics. I just pulled a bunch from my closet. So I just have like plain white v-neck t-shirts like this. I have a maroon one like this. I have a striped shirt like this. A slightly cropped ribbed white tee. I have another pink one, same as the white one that I showed. I have this yellow cropped top this orange one and also this like forest green one um, and I also have a lot of different colors so that I never run out of options I get mine usually at like jeans warehouse or forever 21 or like H&M or something like that and they are usually really good quality and they're pretty inexpensive as well so definitely get yourself some good basics the next item are leggings now every single girl knows this but leggings are life so I have this entire like basket full of leggings so I have <laughs> I have like four pairs of black leggings. Just kidding, I think I have five. You can never have too many black leggings. Give this video a thumbs up if you can relate. And I also have this like green pair of leggings and I think I also have like a gray one. I also have this pair of leggings which is more like athletic leggings or like yoga leggings. Um, but I like these as well because they have a little pocket over here. So you can wear these on days where you might want to look a little bit sporty. But then people are going to be like, oh, are you going to go to the gym after? And then you can be like, no, I'm just going to go home and watch Netflix. And next item are socks so this sounds so basic but literally like socks I have so many socks this isn't it like I have handfuls more of cute socks because I don't know why but like I get cold really easily but I have these adorable cat socks I have some donut socks I got these panda socks I got these Japanese okonomiyaki socks I got so many other socks I have like Sailor Moon socks I have like ramen socks sometimes my roommate would blast the AC and it would be like a freezer it would be like a meat locker in our dorm room and I didn't want to like keep asking her to like turn the temperature down so I would just put on some cute socks maybe wear like my leggings and like a hoodie or something and I would be good uh, so clearly the next thing that I'm gonna talk about are cardigans or like really light jackets so I have a <laughs> I have a lot of cardigans so when I was still going to college I would always bring a cardigan with me and some of the classrooms are just freezing I'm like sitting there shivering if I don't have a cardigan or a jacket or something so that's why I always make sure to bring one with me I worked part-time on campus between classes so sometimes our workplace would get really cold so I have like a bunch of these like plain black cardigans I have these like Caroline cardigans from Brandy Melville, this really really soft comfy one that's like putting on a blanket. This one's from Ross. I also have this cardigan that is grey and it has a hood. This is one of my all time favorite cardigans. It's from Brandy Melville and it's a very long one. It also has pockets and I love this one because it's good on days where you don't really know what the weather is going to be like. Especially here in Hawaii, the weather is so unpredictable so it's good to have a cardigan with a hood because you also never know when it's going to start pouring rain out of nowhere like really why I also have this like tan knitted one from forever 21 and also another Caroline cardigan from brandy um, in this pink blush color next we're gonna talk about dresses now I was a very lazy student I didn't really care about dressing nicely to go to class um, the only reason why I really wanted to dress nicely was because I had to for work so I worked part-time at this institution and they had people who dressed in business attire so I did have like a dress code that I had to uphold so I had to dress a little more nicely than you would on any other casual day so that's why dresses were my go-to item of clothing throw it on and you have your outfit done just 
put on some shoes, cardigan, you're good. So I have this striped one with this mock neck that I got from Ross. I have this plain black one with this cutout in the back from American Eagle. This like t-shirt dress type of one from Ross as well. I also have another one from American Eagle that is this maroon color with this high neck lacy detail and also this like floral one from Brandy Melville. So these are just my favorites and dresses. I have a bunch more but like dresses were my go-to. The next thing that I want to talk about are having pieces that you can transition from day to night. So you know maybe you're gonna have a long day at school but you don't want to go back to your dorm room or anything to change or you don't have time to do that then it's good to have some like nice tops or blouses that you can transition easily. So I have a few of them here. Weirdly they are all black and white but I mean can't go wrong with that, right? So I have this high neck top with this black and white grid pattern from Sun. I really like this one. I've also got this black and white gingham print top that I got from Plato's Closet. Very cheap for like $6 and this is so in trend right now. This is another one of my favorite pieces that I haven't worn very often but it is this cropped tee with this really cute collar and these long sleeves. You can tell that I do enjoy my grid patterns. And I also have this cropped lacy top from Sun. I would just wear this with like black high-waisted denim or something um, and that brings us to our next essential which is black high-waisted denim so I feel like you need a good pair of black high-waisted jeans for any occasion any and all occasions going to class going to work or just like going out into the town later that day it's great because it's high-waisted so you can wear it with cropped tops these are from forever 21 but I actually found mine at a Plato's closet under $10 I'm pretty sure like years ago and they are still in really good condition also they are black so you know if you're a little messy like when you eat or something you're not gonna get like food stains on them the next thing is to have good business attire so you're in college you're probably going to have some interviews for jobs or internships so you want to make sure that you have a solid outfit for those times so i have my black blazer this is just a plain black blazer that i got from macy's i also have this tan blazer which is a little less conventional but still very cute you can wear this on occasions where the setting is not as formal i also have some dress shirts so i have this one that i wear all the time i've worn this thing so so much the setting is more casual you can just pair this with like some black dress pants or like a skirt and I also have this one which I got recently and it's another button-down white shirt but it has pin stripes and I really like the striped detailing on this the other thing is that you can totally dress these pieces down to make them more casual just pair these with like some distressed high-waisted denim shorts or something and throw on some like sneakers and it's a casual outfit right there so you can use these for business settings or casual everyday pieces and I've also got my dress pants so these are just plain black full length and they do have pockets and belt loops but usually I will opt for a skirt instead of pants if I need to dress in business attire it's just more comfortable to me when you're wearing pants and like a long sleeve shirt and maybe a blazer over it and closed toed shoes it can get really stuffy so I feel like a skirt is better because there's you know not as much fabric also make sure that you have some good shoes so have some flats or like some really comfortable pumps I have this two inch heel solid black pumps that I got from Payless shoe source and they were pretty inexpensive they were like $25 and that's actually a really good price for shoes that are that comfortable the other thing that you need is some good pair of sneakers shoes you're gonna be stomping around the campus so you want to make sure that your feet are comfortable usually I would just wear like sandals or slippers but on days where I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking or if it's raining outside and I don't want to get my feet wet I will just wear like sneakers so I have this pair of black slip-on shoes from H&M these are my absolute favorite they were super cheap and I also have these Converse which were also very cheap from Ross so I'm pretty sure that was already 10 items, but I'm going to throw in one more item, a bonus item, and say that you need to have a school t-shirt. Just keep that in your closet for like, maybe you're going out to a sporting event and you need to represent your school, then you got that. But it's funny because I didn't get this shirt until my senior year in college, like... I didn't have a lot of school spirit, I'll be honest. For some reason, in the last year of school, I decided, you know, maybe I should actually pick up a shirt that says my school name on it. It's good to have some school pride every now and then, you know? 
So that was all of my closet essentials. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped some of you guys out. Let me know in the comments down below what are some of your closet essentials. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. Talk to me on my social medias. Also make sure that you're subscribed and you turn on my notifications. And that is all. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!